Hey, Emmanuel, welcome to New York. Um, Thank you for having me. For, uh, for Nick fans that aren't so familiar with your game, can you describe what you're going to bring to the floor every night? Uh, for me, I feel like, you know, right off the bat, I'm somebody that, you know, comes in, plays hard, uh, brings energy, does anything to win, defends. Uh, offensively, I feel like I can shoot it with the best of them. Uh, I feel like I can play on or off the ball, create for teammates, uh, and, and really just be somebody, you know, who's going to come in and give it a 110% every night. Our next question comes from Rebecca Harlow, MSG. Emmanuel, welcome to New York. Looking forward to working with you. But I love that you have a great relationship with your mom. So so correct me if I'm not saying her name properly. I think it's Nitrice. Yes, ma'am. OK, great. So just tell me a little bit about your relationship with her, how she coached you when you were a kid, and, and what you have taken from that relationship into your professional career here. Uh, it was great. You know, my mom's somebody who I, you know, consider myself to look up to. Um, somebody who works hard, is driven, uh, caring, puts other people before herself. So uh, if I came home right now, she would tell me to take out the trash, wash the dishes, you ain't nobody. Uh, basically, you know, just to keep me humble and things like that. Um, so she's somebody, you know, who always, you know, holds me accountable, tells me the truth. And um, that's why she's in my circle. Mark Berman, New York Post. Hi, Emmanuel. Um, I, I know you had a good line uh, last week about how you would take screenshots at some uh, negative things that were out there on social media. I was just wondering what you thought of like the, the, the mock drafts going into the draft. I mean, a lot of them had you in that second round and that proved wrong. I was wondering what you were feeling going into the draft. If you were like surprised that, that, that you weren't rated uh, more, more highly. Um, not, uh, a lot of people around me were just telling me not to worry about mock drafts. They're just mock drafts. Um, a lot of people don't understand, uh, really, you know, the pre-draft and, you know, what teams are looking at and really any of that. So, uh, mock drafts are just, you know, people, what they think and, and what they go on from the season. So, um, my team and, and myself knew what I had done during the season. We knew how, how hard I worked. We knew how I did in workouts, interviews and things like that. So, um, I felt pretty comfortable going into the draft. Ian Begley, SNY. Manuel, thanks for doing this. I hope your, uh, your friends and family are okay. Um, just wanted to ask you about, you, I think you posted something on social media about uh, Kenny Payne and, and working with him at the facility. Uh, OB has talked about some conditioning stuff that, He's been involved in what's what's it been like working with Kenny at the NBA level and, and what have you guys been doing lately? Um, I really haven't got to work hands on yet. Uh, basketball wise, honestly, just really I've been more with Coach Johnny Bryant and and uh, Coach Scott. Uh, but, you know, Kenny, Coach Kenny Payne is somebody who he, he's pushing Obi right now. Obi's working out with him mostly. And I think uh, he has somebody else as well. Uh, but he has them running. Uh, and just like in Kentucky, he's going to push you to be great. Uh, he's going to push you to, you know, outside your comfort zone. And, uh, and I'm excited to get started, you know, working with him. I think I can work with him, you know, this coming weekend. Chris Eisman, the record. Emmanuel, just with a, such a short amount of time between the draft and the start of the season, I mean, how much of a challenge is that? And, and how prepared do you feel for the NBA? Uh, I feel really prepared. Uh, just taking little things, taking care of my body, getting the right amount of sleep, um, taking care of my mental side. That's just just as important as uh, the physical side, Make sure, making sure I'm in shape, lifting, taking care of my body, recovery work. So uh, just trying to, you know, I feel like going to Kentucky was an advantage where we had to kind of, you know, really be in a bubble already in our, our gyms right across the street from our living area. So uh, not much has changed and, and just continue to work hard and get better each and every day. That's really my main focus. Steph Bonney, the Daily News. Hey, Emmanuel, thanks for doing this. Um, as a point guard, I know um, you like to throw alley-oops. Um, what, what do you think about your, have, what are your impressions so far about potential partners in that realm in OB and, and Mitchell Robinson? Yeah, I've actually got to play uh, 2K uh, and, and use the Knicks a couple of times. Um, so, you know, I'm already familiar with a lot of my teammates, been able to throw a couple of lobs at those guys. 
Um, we got some great players on this team. Really excited. You know, those guys, Mitchell and Julius and Obi, they can, you know, catch anything at the rim. So uh, it'll, it'll be good to play, you know, some really athletic players. Steve Popper, Newsday. Hey, thanks for doing this. Um, just wondering with this quick start, quick turnaround, no summer league and stuff, how much you think the familiar, familiarity of Kenny and and the Kentucky guys that you know, uh, does that help you get acclimated to this quicker? Absolutely, without a doubt. Uh, uh, Coach Kenny Payne's birthday was the other day. I walked into the gym, started singing them happy birthday. Everybody started laughing. Uh, so just having guys like that, um, and then obviously all the Kentucky players and all the Kentucky connections, it's really great to just be able to come in uh, feel at home, feel like I never left uh, Kentucky and just be able to get right to work and, and just have, you know, have, have that comfortability around me. Spencer Julian, MSG. Manuel, is there an NBA player past or present that you model your game after? Um, for me, myself, I, I feel like my game's unique, but just looking at different players that have had success, uh, I look at CJ McCullum, Lou Williams, uh, defensively, Avery Bradley, you know, I feel like, you know, those guys can play on or off the ball, uh, create, shoot, um, and, and really just, you know, help the team in a multitude of ways offensively and defensively. So uh, looking at guys like that. All right, we have time for two more questions. The next one comes from Mark Berman in the New York Post. Uh, yeah, Emmanuel, you interestingly said that you've been working with uh, Johnny Bryan instead of uh, Kenny, I mean, is that a strategy since you know Kenny so well and he's been working with you throughout your college career to get a taste of, of you know, a broader range of coaches? Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, it's good for me. Uh, whoever I work out with, you know, I'm going to go 110 um, percent. Learning different stuff from him, different stuff from Coach Scott. Uh, it's just good, you know, get to work with everybody and just get to pick different people's brains and, and learn new stuff every day. And our last question comes from Ian Begley, SMY. Emmanuel, just out of curiosity, are, are you from the Baltimore area? No, I'm from Havity Grace, Maryland. I'm from Harper County. So that's pretty far. It's far away from Baltimore, but it's a shot in the dark, but obviously with Carmelo, Anthony, was a Nick for a while, Baltimore guy. Did you ever cross paths with Carmelo when he was? Or did he have any kind of an influence on you, being somewhat from the area? Yeah, I mean, I played Baltimore basketball pretty much um, all my life since I was about in sixth grade. So Baltimore, as far as basketball, that's pretty much all I know is, as far as basketball. Um, playing against you know guys like you know Will Barton, uh, guys in the DMV, Quinn Cook. Uh, Josh Selby, um, some of the great players, Carmelo. Um, I actually got to spend a little bit of time with Carmelo maybe two or three weeks ago during my pre-draft. Uh, he just gave me little nuggets about, you know, uh, taking care of your body, um, going in with a mindset to be hungry and things like that, learning from the older guys and things like that. So um, it was really good to be able to have him in my corner and, you know, wish him the best of luck as well.